Hello there! I hope you're all doing well in the lockdown. In this video, we're going to be watching some clips that I recorded when I was playing through some of the student game submissions throughout the Certificate for and Diploma of Digital and Interactive Games uh, in 2019. The projects that I'll be showing off are some of the more polished projects that were submitted for assessments. And although some students went to the effort of implementing audio into their games, it was not actually required by, uh, you know, the assessment. So um, for the games that don't have audio, I'll be just adding some background music to suit the tone of the game and atmosphere. Without any further ado, let's get stuck into some gaming. So the first game we're going to be playing today is called Sushi Packer and was made by one Josh McChrystal. The first thing we'll do is we will read the how to play. So when the game starts, the sushi will start spawning from the left and travelling right across the conveyor belt. Uh, click on the sushi to pick them up and place them in the tray. Once the tray is full, click on the tray to serve it. You must serve a tray before, it, uh, before putting new sushi on the next tray. Uh, last as long as you can without failing too much, fail too many times, and you will be fired. Ooh, we don't want to be fired, alright? Well, let's give it a go. Now, before I start, I'll just say, I know that uh, some of the students were playing this game and posting their high scores in our Discord server. Now, the highest score, I believe, was just under 1,000, possibly, so that's going to be our score to try and beat today. So let's hit start and give it a go. Let the sushi roll! Alright. One, two. So six sushi, fill up a tray. Five, six, click on the tray. Click on the tray, nice. I actually love sushi. I remember going to this place, a uh, sushi train in um, Perth, in the place that I live. And uh, I remember trying raw, a block of raw tuna for the first time. Oh! That was a close one. Alright, we're getting quicker now. Oh! Six. All right. I'm gonna have to start counting so I don't forget to do the tray. Six. Oh. Oh. Oh man, this is getting quick. Oh. Five hundred and forty-eight point six two. All right, let's give it one more go. The high score is 614. Oh, I think that was one of the scores I previously got, so still haven't beat the 1000 mark, but let's give it a go. Round two, let the sushi roll. All right. We're at 475. Oh no! You've almost got to click like ahead of where the sushi are when they start going force faster. Oh. Okay, so my health is recharging at the top there. Ah, oh, but we got a new high score at least, 678. Okay, well that is Sushi Packer, anyway. Okay, so this is Project 51. Uh, this is a game by uh, Mitchell Heath, Jun Hun, Ashley Johnson, and Ewan Zimmerman. Uh, they were some diploma students uh, at the beginning of 2019. So they created this game called Project 51 based on the whole, you know, project, uh, sorry, not project, uh, based on the whole Area 51 thing that was going on around the time, uh, you know, sort of a satirical take on it. Anyway, let's hit play. Uh, okay, so we can choose from a mech or soldier. Uh, let's pick the mech. 
jump. Not very high. Oh, shoots kind of slowly. We, got a, we have a dash ability. Wow, okay. So headshots do more damage, obviously. Oof. Oh. Moving so slowly. Oh, we have a melee attack too. Alright. Grab him. Grab him. Yeah, cool. So it's like an arena sort of game. You've got to defeat, I think, five waves of enemies to move on to the next arena. Oh man, he, sh he shoots real slowly. It's not automatic. Oh yeah, it is automatic. I can hold it down. Right. That dash ability is cool. Dash out of there. Oh, grab him. <laughs> oh, here we go. Music just got more intense. I think this is the last round. Oh. Oh. Wow, I didn't know that. That's cool. So the longer you hold down the shoot button, the faster it shoots. That's really cool. Oh, we need to reload. There we go. Alright, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Grab some health. Oh, okay, apparently it didn't boost my health there for some reason. That's alright. Still got plenty. Let's just grab him. The mech seems to be a bit of a tank. Oh, this should be easy. Bottleneck. Oh. Get out of there. Oh, they, are they coming from behind me too? Need some health. <clears throat> yeah, that's more like it. Oh, these guys shoot. All right. I wonder if that's adaptive music or if that's just the order of the tracks. It's hard to tell. Alright, let's grab this health. <laughs> that grab is awesome. Pretty fun little game. 
Yeah, nice. All right, so we got another arena. Oh, we have a hole. I think we can fall into that. Oh man. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm alive still. Okay, just teleports. Oh. Dang. Alright, so let's try uh, the soldier now. Okay, so this time we're gonna try the soldier. Oh, that, okay, he moves a bit fast, so that's cool. Q for this guy. I bet the lava does damage. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm still taking damage for some reason. Okay, I'm not anymore. That's cool. Alright, let's see what Q does. Ah, we have like an OP laser beam. Interesting. Like a no max ammo? Oh, regens, cool. Oh, ding ding. The headshot thing's really cool. Let's see if we can climb this volcano and maybe screw up the nav mesh. No, apparently not. Take the beam, eat the beam. All right, next last wave. This guy feels really fun, actually. He's a lot less like sluggish. Yeah, a lot less, a lot less sluggish uh, than the mech. Quick, climb the volcano. Oh, I can't jump up here. Oh. Ah, back in this arena. Okay. So I think it's, it's random. Obviously. Oh, yeah, I keep getting your whole key down for this guy. Oh, we got melee too. Okay, let's elbow him. Nice. Low ammo. Oh, I gotta let it recharge for a bit. Let's just go with the special power. Yeah. Insta death. Vaporize. Wow, we're all already almost done this one. One wave four. That's how you do that. Wave five. Let's go melee. Melee only. Circle movement. Circle movement. Oh, I can't aim. Oh. <laughs> oh. Anyway, that was Project 51. So that's a really cool little arena wave game. Okay, so the next game we have is Fox uh, Foxlings. So this game was made by... Uh, Joshua McChrystal and Jaden Cassidy, two very uh, talented young people. Um, and yeah, it's just a simple little game. We play as a fox, we have to go and find our little foxlings and bring them back to the den without getting caught, essentially. So, uh, if we click how to play, yep, so, oh no, your foxlings have been captured. You must set forth and find them, walk up to the cage to open it, collect all three. You can keep track of them in the top left. Don't step into the hunter's sight, otherwise it's game over. Get back to where you started with all three to win. Uh, and if you want to follow these guys on Twitter, there's their Twitter handles down the, the bottom right there. Back. 
All right, so let's place. St let's let's start. All right, I don't think I need my. All right, so we're actually encountered. We've got this. Yep, we've got grass there. That we can. I think we can hide in the grass, if I remember correctly. All right, that's our first foxling. Following us? Oh, you going kind of slowly, Mr. Foxling. Oh, he jumps a bit there. All right. Oh, there's our second foxling. So we can't actually push this log until we have our second foxling, collect it. All right, now we can bang, push it down. It's quite a nice looking game, very honed in sort of art style. Oh, oh, I got captured. Totally forgot they had lulled me into a false sense of security. Man, I totally forgot there was a hunter there. All right, uh, let's try again. How good is that music? Was that piz pizzicato strings? I think that's what they call that type of, like when you're plucking the violin. I think so, I can't remember. Alright, let's try not get caught this time. Alright. Where are you? I know you're here. Okay, there he is. Go, 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 go. Alright. So, there's our third foxling. Now we just need to... Alright, go. Don't get caught. I think even if the foxlings get caught in the line of sight there. That's game over. Let's see if we... Oh. Let's beat the, uh, the star is 105. We got this. No, we don't have. We don't got this. Nope, maybe we do. Go, go. Yes. Yes, three stars. Look at that. Just in time. 102. Anyway, so that's Foxlings. That's, it's really little game, but it's, yeah, really cool. And the art style is very well done. The audio is also very well done.